Hello. My name is Dei Tarietuma. And I'm talking to you here from Latvia, where we do have the God's farm of the Baltic Sea region indigenous peoples. And this is the time of abundance. This is the time when we have everything in the gardens full of fruit and berries. And here in the bushes we see these beautiful red currants. And it's just to pick them. It's so easy, you just pick them. Here you are. <laughs> Mother Nature is a generous giver. This lecture is in the series of criminalized nuclear war systems and today I intend to deepen the subject of abundance. How we get the abundance system back in place where Mother Nature has created it. It has been um, taken away from most of us by fraud, organized systemic fraud. And it is not too complicated to get it back, but you and I, we are the crucial players to get it. I know how to get it back, and I tell you how to do it, and we do it together. doesn't take much time either. First of all, we have to make a choice to start to live in our own abundance reality, to start to know our rights of abundance, to abundance, in abundance. Not to accept to live like a slave in scarcity. That is a choice, you know. That is your choice. I have made mine already. So now I'm living as Connor and loving everybody and everything. I live in a paradise of love, peace and sometimes even understanding from others. But the most joyful thing is that I do, most of the time, understand others. So peace, love and understanding is here. But of course, this is also a time of war of imposed Cold War and it is not enough that I do have peace in myself I need it 
much more further around me than my own person. And for that, we need to create peaceful reality all around our Mother Earth and in the universe, assist its existence. And of course the main tool there is to love. When there is abundance of love, there is peace. But um, this morning, when I woke up, what did I see in this bush? I saw a huge black bird with a yellow neb, you know. Black bird sitting here and being very heavy on the branch, very full fed with the berries and not taking one more berry. It was total abundance. <laughs> and it just the only move it could do was to empty its stomach. It couldn't even fly away. When I clapped, it just fell <laughs> on the grass and scooted away. That's not what I mean with abundance for us. But to redistribute these beautiful resources we have on Mother Earth for each and everybody and to prevent harmfulness and to protect, to put in place such a system, it's not hard in our times of effective industrialization and absolutely marvelous communication systems. But somehow only few have access to those assets. So, <coughs> the question is about redistribution. That's the question. And those who have too much shouldn't sit here sort of too fed up and fat and sort of hard to move. It should be distributed evenly. Maybe not totally evenly, but quite evenly, so everybody has enough. And still there will be so much over. But why isn't it done so? I would like to refer to uh, my earlier lectures about that. But today I even touch on um, such teachers as Alex Jones in Infowars and David Icke in um, David Icke's channels and books and also on, um, for you English speakers, maybe not that well known writer and researcher and filmmaker Yuri Lina. You can find his name here. Yuri Lina. They have described very well how the system is sick and why. This is Yurilina's four movies, documentary, videos, 
on a mason grid of the world that has created a system that steals the wealth of nations and peoples into the pockets of few corporative networks. Yuri Lina is very good at analyzing communist, uh, socialist scheme and uh, that uh, left madness. And of course he touches on the right uh, madness as well as masonry is global and it is just divided into left and right to create illusion of choice and to create this war, ever going war that will shock us into obedience and make us into the slaves of few and so people get so hypnotized that they become biorobots and are even easily exterminated with various whole matrix of instruments of depopulation. So today I would like to talk about uh, the new series of David Icke that he has published on his web page, David Icke. If you Google it, you'll find it. And he has there one particular video where he describes the pyramidal structure, how this grid of wealth stealth is built. It's a pyramid with a satanist eye high in the top. In his <coughs> research he is believing in the reptilian substance of that eye. Other researchers talk about Satan, which would be more in a demonic world where people would be submitting to demonic powers without really having some aliens in behind. I personally, as a researcher, um, sure that we need to open all doors and protect us against all of these powers and forces. And the weakness in uh, the work of all three marvelous researchers as Alex Jones, David Icke and Yuri Lina is following. The solution, the solution is not worked out properly the problem is well described the solution is missing and here today I will provide to you exactly that the solution It is described in my previous work and it's called Sun Model Baltic Sun System Security Model. That is uh, 
a compass with 14 parameters that you have always to keep in place to be protected as yourself, as your family, as bigger units, any units. All of those parameters have to be accurate to keep everything wealthy and healthy. So that concept is suggested to be empowered and put in place through groups of indigenous people in local communities as the ones that have preserved the sacred cultures and contact with the divine forces of Mother Nature. And these powers unfolding Baltic Sun System security modeling will furthermore give basic income and divine protection to everybody on our planet and even the universe. And uh, for that, the easy method is to use the already by me declared indigenous world order and create your own indigenous banks. And that you can do by emitting your own money, your own means of exchange. Every family, each individual indeed, can emit their own money. That is how the abundance comes and the feudal society ends. But of course not everybody knows how to do it properly and in uh, reality it will not be that everybody does that. You will rely on your on the people you trust. And But this system of course has to be put in place in stages without big shocks and it has to be put by competent, reliable and loving people. Furthermore, I would like to go in today so the very subject today that I would like to discuss is also this book. That I got quite recently in Sweden that describes the history of um, the families 
that have created the corporations in Sweden that give them most of the wealth of resources of Sweden right now. And that is only part of why the indigenous people now are losing all their resources. This is the American situation, but uh, these Masonic laws, global law system, are centrifuging all of the resources into the hands of few. which is not good for those few either. It's just greedy madness. Because as system is now, it is getting self-destructive, even for these guys, the wealthy ones. So to Stop this inquisitorial mass murder of planetary living systems. We have to know the corporations and the people who run them. And this book gives quite a nice insight. So let's have a look at it. Here is the book. It is in Swedish. And here is the lovely author of it, Jöran Hegg. Not many of you, I guess, know Swedish. But in our region, these families are important not only for Swedes. They are important for most of us in the Baltic region. Because Swedish banks have overtaken Baltic states and there are no national banks anymore here in Latvia and the banks that may seem national in Sweden are not national either. As I already showed my fans and scholars in uh, the previous video from Science Academy, then a Swedish post office network was overtaken by the bank called Nordea. Nordea Bank that has quite a wide system of owners. Very many owners. So you would sort of surely they cannot agree on They are so many that you can't trace the ownership, sort of. 
and the ma majority sample group is there owns just 20 percent so they are so many that somebody can manipulate them and somebody is usually the old company that runs the central banks so it's all quite intellect intel intelligently built up as a trick to fool the people so this is a forgery systemic forgery where you that is so complicated that that you can't sort of notice when you're being fooled but there are other banks as ACB that is owned by Wallenbergs W Wallenbergs and when you read this book then you start to realize most of these families are not Swedes at all. They are immigrants. And by the way, even Swedish king, the Swedish king is Bernadotte, who came from France. Because people even then thought that he would solve the problems of Swedes just because he had money. He didn't give them much money, but he came anyway and became king there in Sweden. And his wife is not Swedish either. So... She comes from uh, some industrial family that um, made weapons for previous wars. And when I met some big masons, they said that Sweden has been spelled since Swedish king married Sylvia from weapon industry family. So, we do have to look at who is loyal to indigenous people of every local region. And usually they are not aristocracy that is established. Because the aristocracy that is established is in the grid of Christian Crusade thousand years that have been the first global corporation that has been terrorizing the planet, colonizing it, taking it away from indigenous peoples, the resources, and getting wealthy on the resources and making the indigenous people into their slaves. As this has been going on now for almost a thousand years, the systems are so intact that you can almost not remember how it was and what is the divine order. And that's why it is so important to keep in touch with indigenous people. And if the indigenous people in your region are already exterminated, as the last Mohicans and the last Indians that I showed you the picture, then uh, lean on the shoulders on your neighbor countries. Maybe they talk different languages. Try to trust them. Try to learn from them the methodology of contact with the forces of love, of nature, that are no more 
the cult of death, the, the war economy system that is cheerfully abundant wealth. And uh, here is the farm where we do have the contact with the higher forces in uh, the ancient ways that bolts have preserved and bolts is one of the oldest languages on earth and there are only two living languages left and that is Lithuanian and Latvian. There was Prus Prussian too but that is exterminated now. But it is not language that matters at all. It is the divine energy of love. And this matrix of powers of virtue and value that I talked about. When you have parameters, then you can create abundance. So lean on the trees. They are like antennas. And each human is a living antenna. A child of the gods. And when we manifest divine order in ourselves, establishing all the parameters lovingly and sharing the resources. Then the gods order comes into place in our life and we are living in the paradise, in the divine, sacred paradise. It is quite hard to get, though, to live into the, in those 14 parameters because the whole matrix of systems that globalists have put into place is putting opposite values that are just illusions of values and tricking you to make wrong choices. And these manipulations are quite hard to notice because they say one thing but do the other. It is organized crime of fraud that has reached all education systems. And uh, the whole matrix of religion establishments is totally overtaken of it. 
If a uh, hundred years ago the churches still were talking, uh, Christian churches, about usury and uh, interest in banks was a sin, then you will not find such Christian banks anymore. And Christianity is no more Christian. It is covered in fraud. Here in Baltic Sea region, we don't have one, not even one single pagan sacred church. All our holy places have been overtaken by organized corporation that is hypnotizing the people in the region. And I do free you all now from all the commitments you have made to these criminal structures. You are free from them now. I do free all the Masons and all the cooperative work workers from your contracts. You are free from them now. And whenever you are in uh, insecurity and feel weak, just plug in, plug in to the Mother Nature. The antenna that is the Lion of the Gods. And feel all the love, all the love of our, our divine creators. That is how we will succeed to um, nationalize the corporations and split them into useful units that will heal our planet and give all its units wealthy abundance. But let's have a look at uh, these families that we do need to know here in the Baltic Sea region that um, have created these foundations that are tax-free and uh, they run the governments.
So, I'll just read it up. The... Chapter 1. Carnegie. What's in a name? Company. Chapter 2. Company James Dixon. 3. Brothers Kempe. 4. A. O. Wallenberg. 5. To make money on state debt. Carl G. Curvin. 6. The first Bonniers. These Bonniers, they run media. The second part. That describes time from 1870 to 1914. The House of Dick Dixon's decline, the young Kirvin and the last bankire, the nobles, the Brewstroms, Axel Johnson, second generation of Kemper, Knut Agas von Wallenberg, family Söderberg, Karl Otto Boniers, time. Then the third part of the book is to be but to not to be seen and that describes the time between 1914 to 1945. And there we have the Wallenbergs again. The Brustrums, Axe and Johnson, Soderbergs and Ratos. Third generation of Kempe, Bonnier, Rousing, Vetje, Klicksburg and Stienbeck. And then there is the fourth part of the book that is called State and the Capital. There's a wonderful song that I love to sing in karaoke. State and the Capital, sitter i samma båt. Yeah. And that describes uh, time between 1945 to 1986. And then this is the time when uh, Wallenbergs and the wealth state of Sweden did quite marvelous achievements after they had sort of uh, become quite wealthy on the Second World War. And uh, Sweden was really, there was 1% unemployment just in Sweden those years. And people felt quite lucky, the Swedes, and their housing standards just rose. And then we th have here also Söderbergs and their um, foundation capital, Vetje. The House of Brustrums that goes down then, and the rock engineer Axel Axelson Johnson. Bonnier in TV, H. Stenbeck's Campus, Rousing and Tetrapak. Ingvar Kambrat with Ikea, you know. Erling Passion, Halt and Lundin. And then the fifth part of the book is about the time from 86, 1986 to 2012. 
And this is about Wallenberg's Bonniers in the digital. Axe and Johnson's Rousing in Exile. Steinbeck's Triumph. Passions. New Clothes. Cambrat, Holt, Lundin, and so on. And what this book describes is that these families is quite a conspiracy, quite a conspiracy in Sweden, that are holding the network of wealth in their frame. Of course, they are accepted to hold the network of frame by the forces behind them. If they wouldn't play the game as global military corporations, Vatican and global Wall Street bankers desired, they wouldn't be in place either. So it is quite a grid, quite a very, very important grid of people who have really Both fooled the peoples, but also being fooled themselves. Because as you read this book, you see that they are not happy people either, and they, they work quite hard too, and their lives, though rich in uh, resources, they are not lives of loving people who are living in harmony with Mother Nature. And we can give even these people that. These people right now are so busy keeping others fooled and manipulating that they have lost the reality sense how to preserve Mother Earth well and alive. But that is where indigenous people come in and the crucial ingredient why depopulation plans of these uh, corporations run by these establishments cannot be accepted is the issue of nuclear waste and nuclear contamination of the planet. These people are making wars and money with the fear of nuclear extinction 
and they haven't really understood that they have created nuclear extinction with all this nuclear waste that has been created and the solution of the problem of nuclear waste has not been found uranium uranium's half-life is 4.5 billion years so it is radioactive forever and it is not so dangerous when it's in the rock but they are picking it out and making it concentrate in a, into a concentrated form and uh, in all these chemical trans transmutations of these minerals they have created at least 30 new radionuclides that have never ex existed on the surface of earth before that are now being transferred in the even in the air that's what we experienced when Chernobyl and Fukushima happened so the whole surface of Mother Earth has to feel these radioactive particles in the air and that is unacceptable that is nothing that we can cope with but the main horror of total extinction can happen so easily just by a minor solar flare that during one week of solar flare when all electricity is down on our mother earth just one week would be enough to totally destroy the cooling system protections of these nuclear waste systems and they would be vaporizing unbelievable amounts of radioactive materials that's wh what these war mangling corporations have put into our hands now and for that we do need healthy if not for other things then for that definitely we do need healthy population that grows we need n not depopulation but population expansion of the planet that is what we need healthy powerful population expansion and indigenous people do hold the fertility cult sacred and uh, there is this wonderful singer Peruku that is easily to be found on internet perukus.com <coughs> that um, is an uh, Australian aborigin that was also many years in uh, Mexico in Americas studying the sacred rituals and 
sounds and um, if you find her work, her magnificent work, then you will sense the power of indigenous communication with the higher forces and that for that you can use voice you can use movements you can dance magnificent dances as they do in India manifesting love with your moves but as Peruku says find your sacred beloved and love and be loved And even if you are lonely, love, connect to the source of love and love, be love, and your love will be mirrored all around you and will spread the era of loving wealth. So, uh, to come back to what I started with, about the solution, about uh, the fact that David Icke was in Sweden several times and I was on his 12-hour lecture. What I surprised, I was surprised then that he was organizing it with anarchists. But I do admit now that anarchy is a form of order as there is an anarchy of ants who nobody sort of can control but divine forces there is an anarchy of moles there is an anarchy of birds and what is the method Solution, though, is an order within anarchic units where these units really have the choice, the individuals within units have the choice to move between various units. Not like now when we have only one way of currency when every, everything has to be sort of managed by Satanist dollar 
currencies. There has to be real choice. And each leader who is good for three parameters is loving, is competent, and is loyal to local people and all ethnical groups and races which means also to your own ethnical group and race protecting that one as well which now is missing so such a leader has a right to have their own kingdom and their own banks and let him show what he's good for or she but that is taken away in the globalist way because these party systems of four years can never put up wealthy orders and they can always be thrown away after four years when they don't listen to the mason hierarchy So the method is to create these indigenous kingdoms to allow them to put divine order in each and take care of everybody who joins in. The times are very hard now, though, and already in a week I might be living in indigenous order indeed, as the corporations here in Baltic Sea region have overtaken the states. And that you can notice by checking who runs, post, energy supplies, communication supplies, land, housing, re religious network, universities. When you discover that it is not the people themselves, then you know So, here in Latvia and in Sweden and in other Baltic Sea regional countries there are corporations that have taken over energy supply of electricity and IT communications and they have already shut down IT line for this farm and they are threatening to shut down electricity now. Of course this is not a usual indigenous farm. Because the whole kin is already
destroyed. It has been destroyed for so many years. For hundreds of years it has been terrorized. And it cannot function without electricity anymore. So the fact that they are planning to put it down is a declaration, open proof of the war situation that we are here in Baltic Sea region. This is not time of peace. This is called deep state of Cold War. And the, ch the systemic change of criminalizing these war systems has to come now. This is what we do to create wealth system. We declare indigenous world order and we nationalize these corporations. We, the indigenous people, and may the higher forces be with us and our beloved Mother Earth. We do have courses for the new kings. The young should get a much shorter education than they have now. They shouldn't be raised up by these school inquisitions. They should be growing up with their families in the farms, in the middle of nature. But for that, also the families need rehabilitation and education of how to manage living on farms in the nests of wealth. I will bring you around now. To see what remains. From. The farm. And. You will see and get inspired. <clears throat> the little things that even you could help with. And we have declared that each <clears throat> community has to give thousand acres to indigenous people to start to live by their own indigenous rules of the divine order. And that you sh can declare in your community as well. And this is manifested even in the Declaration of the Rights of indigenous peoples that was accepted in United Nations 2007, 13th of September.
that's where we start. And you can stop paying all the bills. in the Satanist money. You can emit your own money. We do it with tally sticks and Baltic indigenous runes. You just put sign on your living place that this is indigenous property and you start it from there and don't accept everybody anybody's attempts to put you into corporate slave market for work create your indigenous projects create your living systems protection projects. And study in the King's School of National State dot info. Your people do need a king now that is loving, loyal, and competent. Be one. Find one and help them educate themselves. Let's be. indigenous world order. And creation of money there is quite an anarchy because everybody can create their own money to manifest their own exchange of wealth, exchange of their labor, exchange of their rights. It is a totally different system that we have the right to live in, divine right, just let's start living in it. In love, yours, Lita. Nationalstate.info BSRRW.org Baltic Sea Regional Radioactivity Watch.org Nuclearjustice.org labia.lv ifrrr.org latviasrepublika.info and 
even gendereconomy.com or titta.nu Yes, there is a lot to learn. I love you so much. Let's have a look around. Yeah. So these are the berries. The red currants. <laughs> Soon we will have apple time. But not yet. Now we have the black current time as well. Look at them. Gosh, aren't they amazing? Mm. And here. There will be apples soon. Jasmines have gone now. It's too late for those. And here is the anarchy of arts. <laughs> And here is my old, old fir tree. Ah, it's maybe not that old, as big it is. I think it's only something like 80 years old, fir tree. Crisberries, there are not many left yet. But there is one still on the branch. And one more. And here I have my tomatoes and gherkins growing. Look at them. Here are the magnificent apple trees. They are not fit yet, but there are some on the ground already. These are sweeter. These sweet little things, they don't look so ripe yet. They are not ready yet either, but they are sweet already. And quite edible. And here we have pumpkins growing. Not big yet. Just getting started. Hmm. These are the roses.
I never promised you a rose garden. But these are called King's Crowns. Hmm. Mm, this was hard work to get these carrots and red beets free of Yeah, and there are some onions too and potatoes quite promising aren't they? And then we have also beans. Oh, here are some squashes. Look at them. Yum, yum. Yeah, they are so nice. Oof. And here is the bean garden and this is something I don't know how it's called in English but this is some type of salad and this is salad too mm -hmm. And this is dill. And these are the beans. Rather peas. These are the dark peas. That's what it is. The beans are in the background. And these are sunflowers. And these daisies. And these daisies. <laughs> Yeah, and then we have all the wood. Gosh, yeah, quite a lot of work. Mm. And then there we have the oak tree church. And there, there, further in. There is a birch hill. For inauguration of young people. But even the new kings. Yeah, it is beautiful to live with Mother Nature. This is a farm that was built 77 years ago. Just before the Second World War when we really did have a state that was designed for the people and 
we had indigenous people loyal leader Carlos Ulmas. You don't need so many people to create a good order. You need maybe 200. And if uh, your leaders are competent, it will all happen quite fast. So that is what I wish you. And let's make it happen. In love, yours, Tita. <laughs>